for this week's project, I'm going to be doing a full inner sleeve. Okay, let's get dressed. Let's bounce. But first, I gotta make a quick stop because I need some supplies. I came to grab some gloves and my favorite ink, which is Solid Ink Lining Black. They also deliver, but today I was like, hmm, let's not be so lazy. I gotta say hi real quick. Hello! You fucker. Hello! When you print out your stencil, don't be scared to go bigger. Give it a try. It will make a difference in your work. Oh, I think I went too big. You know what? I'm gonna give it a try. Alright, well, let's see what happens. Pero no es posible. A la perfección. It means if it's perfect. So for this project, I'm going to be using two needles, a 14 round liner and a 15 curve mag, both from Red Dots. My voltage is at exactly 6.0 with my 14 round liner. I might be using my 14 round liner for most of this project. After applying my first layer of black, I'm ready to apply my mid-tone. For this session, I have a really simple setup which is only three shades, which is my solid black, my mid-tone, and my lightest tone. I don't use any gray wash sets or any true gray sets. I just mix it based on what I'm doing. Look at this guy, he fell asleep. Alright, well I guess he's better than screaming. The reason why I like using my 14 round liner is because it allows me to add so much texture and I'm able to pack in anything. And I'm really comfortable with it too. much and get back to work. And I'm still using my 14 round liner. There's just so much texture. With my 14 round liner and this voltage, by the end of the session the skin is barely irritated. When it comes down to using true grays, it's all about layering, but please be careful. Using the wrong voltage with the wrong hand speed will cause a lot of trauma to the skin and even scarring. Okay, I'm finally using my mag. This is my 15 curve mag. Time for white highlights. 
My favorite needle to use for white highlights is my 8 round liner. And I like to apply Vasicane to numb the skin. It can get a little painful towards the end. completed this inner sleeve. It took about five hours. What time is it? First of all, what time? 6.33, we started around 12.30, and that is five hours, right? Is my math right? So the original idea was for me to put this statue on the inner bicep and add another concept on the forearm. But I, uh, I ended up just going huge and blew up the whole entire concept and it just happened to fit perfectly on the, the whole inner sleeve. How was your experience for today? Uh, really good, I mean, uh, it definitely went by really fast. It was fast. Obviously that's a great thing because you mm -hmm. do a lot of coverage. It was pretty good for one sitting. Yeah. Uh, it was easy too to make the whole thing happen because uh, it has a whole bunch of texture and a whole bunch of contrast and highlights. So I was able to navigate through it super nicely. It was mostly just a huge piece that allowed me to just... Other than that, it was a dope ass session. Enjoy and I'll see you guys next week.